Hey guys, what is going on? It is Obadiah and today we are back playing some Primitive Plus on the island. So I want to check out some more Primitive Plus things. I've spent the last day, um, I finished the greenhouse and look how massive and amazing it is. Look at all these plants. There's plants, look, we got some, you want some cashews? Look, we got, let's just take a cashew, let's eat it. Bam, ate a cashew. Because why the heck not? Because we can, because we're freaking farmers now. But there's still more stuff I want to check out. I want to build a little building to keep farming stuff in exclusively. It's a little farming hut, you know, for supplies, a little storage shed area. So I definitely want to do some of that. I also want to uh, make up some stuff. So let's actually get that started now. So, okay, so we're going to make a building. We're going to make some apiary so we can get some bees. And uh, I want to check out, so there's not a whole lot of guns, but there is a musket. Uh, and a pistol of some sort, a flint lock pistol. So for those things, we need wood and leather for both. We've been making leather in the tanning rack and I just threw it in one of these boxes. My boxes are so full right now that everything is kind of chaos. Like, I don't know where everything is. I need to go through and reorganize uh, leather. Let's grab a couple hundred leather and let's go grab a, da -da -da -da, a wood stack or two and let's go ahead and make these guns. So. One, two, three, four. First, let's do the musket. And then while that's crafted, we're gonna go ahead and make the pistol. And then, are there any attachments? Let's go weapons. Uh, let's see, explosives. I don't wanna worry about that right now. Firearms, we already got both those ro rocking. No, no, ranged. Ooh, long oh, we can't make the longbow yet. We need beeswax. That's one of the reasons we're making the hive. Okay, let's go ahead and grab these suckers and let's play with them. So, we're gonna have to make some ammo as well. S uh, I've been making a ton of charcoal. Um, I've been loading up on charcoal. Look at that. Take it all. Can we hold it all? We cannot. Let's go put a little more back there so we can move around. And we want, oh, we're just barely moving. <laughs> but we wanna go ahead and make some bullets. Uh, okay, wait, 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 wait. Gunpowder first. Gunpowder's over here. So we gotta turn this stuff into gunpowder. Um, so let's see, gunpowder is half charcoal, half spark powder. So we'll put one, two, three, four, five, six stacks of charcoal in that one. And this one we'll do one, two, three, four, five, six stacks in that one. And I made a bunch of spark powder. Uh, let's see, dun, 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 dun. consumables. Let's go spark, let's just take all, okay. And let's load this up. Let's do, let's load it all the way up and make it all. And do the same thing again here. Load it up. Sweet. So we can start getting some gunpowder made. I already went and got a ton of metal ingots or a ton of uh, iron and turned it into ingots. I left that craft overnight last night so we can make some stuff. And I'm gonna look into making the apiaries and I'm gonna look, see what else cool stuff we can make and what other kind of buildings. And it's gonna be awesome. And I'll bring you guys back. All right, guys, we have made up some stuff. So let's check out the musket and the flint lock pistol. I've got to say, they look pretty cool. Open, 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 please. Let me out. Okay. Or something we can shoot. Oh, yeah. Mm. Reload. Oh, gotcha, sucker. What, how many shots are it going to take to kill this thing? Oh, we obviously need to go longer range. Come on. Oh, we got it. Holy crap, that did a lot of damage. Is that a normal amount of damage? What, that didn't even register for some reason. So these things look, oh, that was a miss. These things look pretty dang cool. Gotcha, oh, so that was 400. That must've been a headshot or something. Okay, we gotta test this out some more. Um, the way it looks is pretty awesome. I mean, check that out. What about the little pistol? Yeah, they look pretty cool, I've gotta say. Um, and they seem to do a fair amount of damage. Uh, someone told me they load slower than they do on uh, the regular long neck rifle, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Can we hit the fish? Uh, uh. Oh, we can! So did 280. Oh, right, because the, do they do reduce damage against certain dinos or something? So the range seems to be pretty long. I mean, I just missed, so it's really hard to tell. Let's see if I can hit something this far away. Yeah, so the range is pretty far. 
Um, and it does, does seem to do a good amount of damage, and that's just the regular one. That's not even anything special. Overall, pretty cool. Definitely something worth carrying around, and it looks all rusty and BA. So, oh, that was terrible. So, uh, it makes me feel very hunter-like. So, I like that. Definitely cool addition to Primitive Plus. Um, but let's look at some of the building stuff. So, I want to build a little bit of a farmer's hut. Like a, not a farmer's hut, like a tool shed. So, I think I already have all the stuff. I've already made everything. Let's move this stuff over. Okay. And let's look at, so we got some concrete foundations. I made out of brick. Or I'm going to be making out of brick because I've already made a ton of brick uh, in the forges. And so I got to use that stuff. Let's just take it up in my inventory. So where do you want to make it? We can make it kind of like, oh, along this little edge here because it is kind of a farmer's area. You know, it's a little garden. We can put it over here because we have nothing over here and no purpose for this space. Or we could even put it back here. This might make sense. It's a nice empty spot. Ooh, but I don't know if there's going to be enough room to put. You know what? I think this is actually will actually be good. Let's do, because we're only doing three wide for this thing. It's not going to be very big. How's that look? So that kind of lined up okay. Uh, let's do it. And we can always make more. So one, two. Dang it. I knew that was what else what I was worried about. Okay. So this is a little too, a little too slopey. Okay. So let's try somewhere else. Um... Maybe right here makes sense. Let's see if we can turn it a bit. Kind of line it up with this wall like so. Now we gotta make sure to put it in a spot where we're gonna be able to put some more foundations. Uh, da, 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 da. I don't even know. I should, I should have done this in like thatch first. Will that work? I feel like there's not gonna be able to go up the hill. Let's try this. Can we fit one in the back? Or did I get too close? Okay, but we can do the front. Can we do the side? Yes. No! <laughs> so close. See, the rest of that... Ah, oh, I'm out. I need more stuff. I need more... Get out of here. I need more uh, cement. Do I have more craft in it or do I need to make more? Oh, I need to make more. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and figure this out and I'll bring you all back. All right, so I went ahead and constructed ourselves our shack. It looks a little weird and stout, but you know what? I wanted to build something that looked exactly like our other buildings. Um, I was gonna angle it and then level it off, but whatever, we just angled it all the way. And I think it is just fine. So I've been thinking, maybe I should put the bees, the apiaries inside, make a little bee hut. Um, I was gonna put them, how big are they? Let's see. I mean, they're good sized. I think maybe we should. We just kind of line them up against the wall. Let's see, can we do that, some of this? No, is it gonna be up there the whole time? Yep, okay. So I'm not a huge fan of that, okay. Um, and let's see how tall, can I throw like these shelves? See, they're obstructed, which I'm not a huge fan of. What if I throw a shelf here, like so? And I got another one on this side. Oh, nope. Yes. So it's just about that far from here. Okay. Then let's back it up. Yeah, that looks nice. A couple little shelves. We've got some uh, little storage buckets. And we've got a big shelf. So let's do the apiaries first. I'm thinking we'll throw them here. Just kind of along this back wall. I have five. That's one. Two. Let's throw them on. Oh no. Three. And four. Ah! There's room for two more. Okay, is there. Wait, can I fit that stored shelf? Yeah, all right. Maybe we'll just do four. What do we need five freaking beehives for? It's a little excessive. Beautiful. So now we got a nice little hut. We can store stuff. We got little storage things. Oh, I've got these little barrels. I'll throw one over here. Like that. And I'll throw one over here. Just give it a little bit of a nice little touch. Nice. So now what we need is actual bees. 
So we've got bees already here. Um, I think it's you need one queen and two drones or something. In each one? I don't know. We'll figure it out. We're just, gonna, we're just gonna take a guess. And then they make bees themselves after that? So let's see. Throw a queen. Oh, no. 16 queens. One queen. Let's do two drones in each one. One queen. Two drones. Oh, that's storage box. One queen. Two drones. But it seems like it'll let me put more than one in each one. So I'm just gonna keep loading it up. Just kind of even the suckers out. Um, and I'll get it all set up and then we'll see what happens. All right, so I went and got some more bees from plants and been putting them in there, but holy crap. So what you do is you put a queen bee and drone bee in there and they make worker bees. Those worker bees then make beeswax and honey, but then they're like consumed and it also consumes the queens and the drones. So these guys go through really fast. I gave a little bit of honey so far. Let's go check it out. So. I got wanted to get honey and beeswax or whatever right now so I could make the longbow because I have not gotten to play with that yet. Longbow. And now I have eight beeswax so I can make one. And I want to go ahead and test this sucker out. Also make some arrows. So that's crafting. Let's grab some obsidian so we can make some obsidian arrows. I hope I have some obsidian. Sure do. And let's grab this bow. Longbow. Um, and then do I make them here? Yes, I need obsidian, thatch, and fiber. Perfect. 50 of them will do, I think. Let's go ahead and let's see how this thing looks. How long is the long bow? Oh, it's pretty long. Oh, I have to equip the arrows. All right. How do we, oh. <laughs> All right, let's go test this out. Oh man, it's gonna take a minute for things to craft, isn't it? All right, I'm gonna let this stuff craft and then we're gonna go test it out. All right, we've got some arrows and uh, there's a nice little crop to done here for us to test it out on. What? Die. There we go, 237 damage. That's not too bad. Can we get them again? How fast are these things? I, mean, I really don't think it's gonna replace the gun. It's kind of a bummer. Ooh, I wonder, do things do, can you use tranks? I wonder if they work better than the crossbow. I don't know. I don't know how to tell that. We're gonna have to look it up. How good of a shot are we? Not that good. Okay, but it looks cool. I mean, yeah, it put some hide armor on, you know, for role play purposes, this would be a really cool thing. I really like the way it looks. They did a good job. Um, as far as use is concerned, we'll probably never use it. I think we can hit that parasaur. Uh, uh, oh, oh, it's too far. I, I would have been really impressed with myself if we had done that. I don't even know if they work at that distance or I'm just a terrible shot. But nonetheless, I mean, they're pretty cool. So I, I do enjoy having this stuff. A lot of the stuff in this whole expansion um, is very role play, very aesthetic. Um, not necessarily the best of the best to use, but it's still a lot of fun and I'm really enjoying it. All right, guys, so we did get a chance to test out lots of cool stuff. We made some apiaries. We got ourselves some bees, some beeswax. We got the uh, obsidian or obsidian arrows with a long bow, made a musket, made a flintlock pistol, all sorts of cool, fun stuff today. I really enjoyed it. I had a good time. But for today, guys, I think that is going to be it. If you did enjoy the video or if you learned something, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button. And, of course, um, don't forget to subscribe and share if you so desire. Also, you can hit me up on all your social medias, your Twitter, your Instagram, your Facebook, your Google+. You can also check out my, my uh, Patreon at patreon.com slash ObadiahX. Uh, before today, guys, if, uh, I really do appreciate you guys coming to hang out with me. And until next time, I will see you later.